Hello there, fellow cultists. This is DM Nell, and I'm back with another Shadow of the Demon Lord talk. This is number, episode number 60, and today we are going full Schwab, whatever that means. So we'll be talking about what that means and uh, giving you some tips on how to uh, have your game go full Schwab, if that is something that you actually want. So let's uh, jump right in, shall we? Yes, let's shall. But before we do, I guess we're not jumping right in if I'm going to say before, but before we do. Uh, but before we do, uh, let me just say this. If you like my videos, uh, how about showing a little bit of love by going into YouTube and clicking on the uh, you know thumbs up or making a comment or something like that. That just helps my videos be my videos be more uh, accessible and will show up if somebody is doing a search for them. Uh, I did a search for Shadow of the Demon Lord, or not for them, but for Shadow of the Demon Lord. So I did a uh, search for Shadow of the Demon Lord in YouTube the other day just to see where my videos pop up. And they're way down there. So, um, you know, there's lots of actual plays and stuff like that that show up uh, ahead of mine. So I'm trying to get my videos to be a little bit more prominent so that if somebody is looking for uh, information about the game and not just actual plays, uh, they might run into my videos, and that's actually what my videos are for, to help people who are interested and want to know more about the game uh, learn about it without having to actually sit through a bunch of uh, boring-ass uh, actual plays. Sorry, I'm not a fan of actual plays. Most people's uh, games bore me to tears, uh, and my games probably bore other people to tears, uh, but uh, they're fun for me, so fuck you. But anyway... Um, going, uh, back to, uh, yeah, liking. So like me, if, uh, if, uh, if you do, if you don't, that's fine. You can dislike me and that'll help too. So, uh, either way is okay. You wake up with yourself and, uh, you help me out in the, in the process. So, uh, there you go. Now let's jump in. All right. Uh, so going full Schwab is something that I've heard come up and seen come up in various podcasts and uh, in various um, uh, chat rooms in, the, in uh, say, Discord and Facebook and stuff like that. And basically what full, going full Schwab means is running a game the way that Schwab runs a game. Now, you can only appreciate how Schwab runs a game. And by Schwab, I mean, of course, uh, Robert J. Schwab, who is the creator of Shadow of the Demon Lord, in case you're fucking clueless and have no idea who I'm talking about. That's this guy right here. And he's the guy that wrote, uh, you know, the, the book, which I actually don't have handy here. It's probably upstairs. Oh, there it is. Um, anyway, it's in my bookshelf. So, um, so yeah, he wrote, uh, shadow the demon Lord. He is the, uh, he is the demon Lord. So, uh, Robert J. Schwab is the mastermind behind this fantastic game, and that's who I'm referring to when I say uh, going full Schwab. Now, um, I've heard this term in reference to the way that he runs games, and this has been said, this, this term has been used um, in, a, in an affectionate manner mo for the most part, uh, or an endearing manner for the most part, because uh, Schwab really just does not. He, he does not, uh, uh, how should I put this? He, he does not give a fuck. He will say what he wants to say and he will be as descriptive as he wants to be, as gross as he wants to be, as colorful as he wants to be in his games. And if you're offended, that's your problem. You should know what you're getting into if you're going into a Robert J. Schwalt game. So. Uh, and let me just first say that everything that I'm talking about here is with the utmost respect for Robert J. Schwalb. Um, I have never been in any one of his games. I have, I wish I have, I uh, wish I'd have, I, I hope I to have an opportunity to be in one of his games one of these days, but, uh, don't see that happening, but you never know. Um, but I have heard his actual plays on his podcast. Uh, and he's got a, a podcast uh, called Rob's Basement. Uh, I think it's got 60 some odd episodes in there. Some of them are Shadow of the Demon Lord games, some of them are D&D games, and he's got a few other games in there too. Um, but um, 
that gives you a sampling of his DMing style and what full Schwab really means. And quite frankly, I'm not even sure that that's, uh, that's, a, that's an accurate depiction of full Schwab. Um, it probably is a pretty good depiction of uh, good, uh, full Schwab, um, but I have a feeling that you have to get the visuals to go along with the audio. And unfortunately, the podcasts are all audio. Uh, so I'm sure the visual accompanying the audio makes full Schwab a more complete picture. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any video, um, any visuals, so I have to imagine what um, uh, what this looks like. But I can I can only imagine that uh, the tables that he runs just get uh, a, a fantastic entertainment experience when when he is running a game. So getting back to going full Schwab. So what does that mean? And do you, is this something that you should strive for in your game, or is this something that only he can get away with? Maybe a little bit of both. Probably depends on your relationship with your table. Probably depends on your own personal style and personality. And probably largely depends on how much you've been drinking that day. So let's talk a little bit about this. And I don't normally do this in my videos, but today I am going to give a parental discretion uh, because there's going to be a lot of cussing and F-bombs and a lot of inappropriate talk that people should not be talking about this shit. Um, so yeah, don't let your kids listen to this because, uh, well, they're going to anyway, but you know, uh, don't give them permission to listen to this because that makes you bad parents. Nobody wants that. All right. So, um, yeah, full Schwab. Let's, uh, let's talk about what going full Schwab means. So first of all, what I've noticed, and so these are just some of the notes that I've jotted down before the podcast or be before this show um, based on what I've heard from his podcast and uh, some of the descriptions that I've heard from um, people that have been in his games. And he gives over-the-top description, over-the-top uh, monologues, and they're very anachronistic, so he will sprinkle in real life with game uh, stuff you know, interchangeably throughout his monologue. So, um, you know, he's got, he, he's just very, very over the top with it, uh, almost shouting uh, at his table. And every sentence would benefit uh, immensely from colorful terms, such as variations of fuck and bullshit, uh, things like fuckery, bullshittery, um, just, you know, use your imagination. All that should be sprinkled in liberally, liberally in all of your descriptions. Uh, that will help you uh, start moving towards the, uh, the end of the full Schwab uh, spectrum. Um, your games will have and should have genitalia, both male and female, uh, featured um, as just standard features in encounters, in sceneries, in uh, just uh, any descriptions that uh, are are made in, at some point in the game. It doesn't have to be in every description, but uh, I would say in every session there should at least be some reference to genitalia. Um, male genitalia should be engorged at some point. Uh, because if it's not an engorged penis, if it's not that, if that's not in your game, you're not full Schwab. You must have an engorged penis in your game, not yourself, although that can happen, but something in your game should reference engorged penises. That's important. Um, the next bullet point is also extremely important, and that is featuring uh, bodily functions, secretions, excretions. Uh, I'm not really sure what the difference between those two are, but there you go. And uh, other fluids, which I would imagine excretions and secretions would include fluids, but you know, uh, uh, for the sake of completeness, I threw that, uh, that F word in there as well. Um, so that should also be included in your game at some point as scenery, as some form of attack, as some form of um, uh, representation of damage taken or the effect of damage being taken or the result of damage being taken, uh, there most definitely should be some, some, something inside your body coming out. 
uh, that would be better served staying in. Uh, so yeah. Um, and I don't have it on my bullet point list, but I'll, I will say this as a sub point, sub bullet point. Um, any form of attack that can, uh, result in a death and a spectacular death involving body mutilation, uh, or some sort of explosive, uh, bodily event, um, would be uh, definitely a leap towards the, uh, the the badass end of the Schwab spectrum. Um, use non-standard monsters in your game. So if you're going to have a monster in your game, you know it's not just don't don't throw a zombie at them. You know throw a six-armed zombie that has the head of Farrah Fawcett and uh, has a a penis for a tail, um, and it's engorged, of course, and its arms are, you know, two iron girders that he slaps together uh, in order to um, uh, to crush your head. So, you know, these are the things that um, uh, your player character should encounter. Not a zombie, not a skeleton, not a uh, an ogre, uh, but just a monster cobbled together with the oddest assortment of things that you can just imagine your monster is this lump of clay that is pretending to be a Mr. Potato Head and you're just attaching random shit onto this thing and then plopping it on the table and that's your monster. Um, so that is what you should strive for as at least one of your counters. Now you can throw all that other bullshit into your game as well. You know, have a zombie come in later, whatever. Uh, but you should definitely have a non-standard monster in there. When in doubt, make it a demon uh, because demons are, you know, every game benefits from having a demon in it. Uh, doesn't matter what level they are. They could be zero level or they could be 10th level. Uh, that just, all that does is, uh, tells you how many demons to, uh, throw into your game, um, and what size to make them. So, um, yeah, demons m make every game better. So when in doubt, use a demon. Um, all right. So when you're running a Shadow of the Demon Lord game to go full Schwab, you really just have to throw boons and banes, uh, all over the place. Boons and banes should be used liberally. So, um, you know, apply boons, uh, you know, give boons to your players, make them feel like they're badasses, but then uh, show them their place in the world is actually uh, very small by uh, saddling them with boons as well, as appropriate at different points of the game. So you want to you want to balance that. Well, you don't really want to balance that. What you want to do is you want to throw a few boons at them, make them feel good, and then just dump some banes at them at the, uh, the best uh, possible time for you and your monsters. Um, keep combat moving fast. So this is one thing I noticed that Schwab does when he's running a game is when you get into combat and you have the uh, initiative uh, begin, he will give you just a couple of seconds in order to determine if you're going fast or slow. So he will say, all right, uh, fast turns, who's going fast, going once, going twice. Okay, slow turns. So basically, you have to really know your shit and know that you're going to go on the fast turn and throw it out there before he gets to the slow turns. Otherwise, you're fucked and you're going to be going on the slow turns. So it's really more of a foregone conclusion that everybody goes slow. And if you want to go fast, you need to get that in quick. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to, by default, uh, end up in the slow turn. And then um, if players and characters shy away from something or play it safe in their game, um, Schwab has a fantastic uh, admonishment that he uses, which is a shouted out, uh, cowards, and it is fantastic. He uses it quite a bit, and uh, I love it every time he uses it. Just uh, it, it's it's funnier than hell, and it, you know, makes your uh, players think twice about, yeah, maybe we are playing it too safe, not really, but uh, still, it's funny. So, uh, whoa, where am I going? So, uh, so yeah, uh, throw cowards out whenever possible. And uh, you also want to have in your game at least one NPC that is wacky, memorable, 
and has some kind of bizarre, wacky name. Like uh, there's one in uh, a podcast that um, he has on his uh, Rob's Basement uh, where a, uh, an NPC's name is Saul. Saul. And yes, he does pronounce it like that many times throughout the podcast. And it gets funnier every time he does it. So just, you know, again, have a memorable NPC, at least one that is just out there and uh, make him over the top with an over the top name. Finally, going full Schwab is probably more easily accessible by drinking heavily. Um, I think that is the only way that I would personally be able to go full Schwab uh, because I just, I don't have what it takes. I, I can go mid Schwab, I think. I think that's about as far as I can go. If, you, if the spectrum, if the Schwab spectrum is, you know, uh, no Schwab and full Schwab, I think I can make it to about here, maybe a little bit here. But if I'm drunk or pretty well lit, I can make it over here most of the way. Now, when I, it is my goal to one of these days actually go full Schwab and be able to hit all of these points in a game session, but I've yet to do so, or at least I don't remember uh, doing so. Uh, so, and my players are still with me, so I don't think I have gone full Schwab, but uh, at any rate, um, that's it. Folks, that's all I got for full Schwab. Now, there may be more to it. Uh, in fact, those of you who have played with Schwab can probably add to this list from firsthand experience. Uh, and I would love to hear those stories. So if you want to uh, throw them up on my uh, comments in YouTube, please do. This would be a great place to get all those, um, uh, all those uh, Schwab anecdotes that uh, can only be from personal experience to uh, be appreciated fully appreciated. So, uh, you know, please, please put them out there if, uh, if you've got them. But um, for those of us that can only go by the recorded medium uh, from the podcast and third party um, uh, testimonies, then uh, this is all I got. So I uh, hope that this has been helpful for you. And if you try to go full Schwab yourself, please let us know how that turns out and how many players you end up losing and how many friends you end up losing as a, as a result of that. Now, of course, everything I've talked about on this, uh, in this video has been, for the most part, tongue in cheek. Uh, I think Schwab is a great guy. Uh, from what I hear, he's um, a super friendly guy. And I don't think he is out to um, offend anybody. But uh, having said that, if you're going into his game, I think he expects you to know that th this is what you get. So you're going to want to uh, take that safety list um, and put it away because it's not going to apply in this game. Uh, now, I say that, but also, to be fair, I don't think Schwab goes out of his way to offend anybody or to, uh, to try and uh, belittle any groups uh, he doesn't use, you know, the N word or he doesn't use, make fun of, um, you know, disability, people with disabilities or anything like that. Uh, I don't think he's going for that necessarily. I think he is, um, I think he's fully conscious of uh, what he's doing in his game and focusing on, you know, the, the, the horror aspects and the, you know, the body aspects of the games and, you know, just sprinkling a lot of cuss words in there. So again, being fair, not having actually been in any of his games, uh, I don't want to misrepresent how Robert Schwab runs his games and what full Schwab actually means. Uh, so just uh, keep that in mind when you are trying to go full Schwab and, um, you know, don't do, uh, don't do shit that's going to, um, you know, cause you to lose your friends and stuff like that, because that'd be bad. All right. So anyway, that's all I got. So uh, I know it's a short video, but uh, it's been fun recording it. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go and I will catch you next time. Hail to the Demon Lord.